Hello everyone, it's me JB from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I will show you how to use Android smartphone as wireless and wired external speaker for Windows, Mac and Linux computer. So, would end for more delay, let's begin. So, right now you can see I'm using a Windows operating system on my respective computer. So, if you're using a Linux or Mac computer, still the tricks will remain the same. So, firstly, on your computer, what you need to do is just open any web browser and in the Google search, just search for one application name as Audio Relay and on the first list, it will see its official website. Just click on it. And now you will see its official website and here you can see a download option. Just click on it. Now you can see on the above Audio Relay for Android, which I will talk in the later part of this video. So firstly, you can see here, it already detected my operating system that is Windows so here is a download option and just near to it you can see Linux there is a download option and if you're using Mac OS then you can just select this and you can click on download and below you can see here some instructions so if you want to read it then you can read it by clicking here but right now I'm not going to show you so I have already downloaded and installed this software already so I'm not going to do it again so you firstly download and install this software on your respective computer and after that on your respective android smartphone just go to the play store and in the play store just search for this audio relay application and you can see here on the first list so like before i have already downloaded and installed this application also on my android smartphone so i'm not going to do it again so firstly you download this application also on your respective android smartphone then after that, on your Raspberry computer, just open or run this software. So you can see this kind of user interface, right? So wait for a few seconds, it's detecting the audio devices. So you can see here, it automatically creating a IP address on the right side you can see. So this is my computer's IP address. So now on your Android smartphone, just open or run the similar software click on get started so you can see it automatically detected my Windows computer so you can see the IP address along with my computer name right so if your computer name is not showing up then you need to connect your both Android smartphone as well as your respective computer whether it's a Windows Mac or Linux computer you need to have a same Wi-Fi internet connections being connected on both the devices so the first method which I'm going to show here right now is a wireless and later part of this video I'm going to show you using a wire that is a USB data cable connections. So this one is the wireless connection. So once your computer is detected on your respective smartphone, now just click on it. Now you can see here it automatically detected and now you can see here on the your computer it's showing the volume level of your Android smartphone. So let us play uh, my own YouTube tutorial and let us check if it can play in my Android smartphone or not. So let me play it. Hello everyone, it's me Chebby from Unique Tutorials. Today in this video I will show you so finally you can listen the sound that is coming out from my android smartphone right so this is using a wireless connection so if you don't have an internet connections and you want to connect it using your wired or the usb data cable then how you can do it so let us stop this first and let us disconnect the internet too And let us disconnect the internet too on my computer too, right? So now on your Android smartphone, firstly what you need to do is just go to the phone settings and just scroll down below and just tap about phone. Just scroll down below and you will see here one option build number, just keep on tapping until you see your uh, developer mode is 
turn on so in my case it's being turned on so you can see non it you are already a developer so i have already turned on my developer option so just keep on tapping until you get a pop-up message showing that the developer mode is turned on then after that just go to the systems advanced and you can see your developer option and just scroll down below and now you will see one option usb debugging so just turn this option on and now after turning this on just open the application again that is the audio relay now on your android smartphone just scroll down and you will see your option usb tutoring right just keep click on this settings option now you need to turn on this usb tutoring so you can see here a second option usb tutoring just turn it on so after turning this option on just move back now on your computer you will see already a ip address right being created on your computer right so now what you need to do is here you can see our option above on your smartphone connect to address right just tap on it and now just type this computer IP address on your Android smartphone so let me type it and after typing the IP address of your computer on your Android smartphone just click on this connect now our android smartphone is being wiredly connected with our computer and now let us check again if we can use our android smartphone as a wired external speaker or not so let me try to play my own youtube video again how to make tp link portable 3c or 4g wi-fi router as Wi-Fi extender and Wi-Fi so you can see we have finally successfully created our Android smartphone as a wireless as well as the wired external speaker for our Windows Mac and Linux computer using this cool tricks so if you never known about this cool software which will let you use your Android smartphone as wireless and wired external speaker for windows mac and linux computer then you should definitely give it a try so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching